This is a case of a 22-year-old female patient, day one, post-cesarean section, who uh, readmitted uh, with severe abdominal pain and vomiting and uh, not passing flatus. There were some dilated bowel loops on uh, abdominal x-ray and the query was Eilus Pseudoxaxon Ogilvy syndrome. This is the CT scan. Let's see the images. Here is the uterus. Starting from the anorectal region. We can see that uh, there is normal caliper, there is no dilatation at this point in the sigmoid and uh, just follow my arrow, there is mild dilatation here, not something significant, this is the descending colon here, almost collapsed. But from this point starts the dilatation of the bowels. There is no significant transitional point. There is no true stenosis. There is just smooth dilatation from that point and proximal to that point. Here the left colonic curvature at this point just follow this track this part of the bowel as you can see there is dilatation some air fluid levels all right here here and significant dilatation of the right colon with significant fecal loading somewhere here is the ileocecal valve and the terminal ileum is dilated as well as there is dilatation of the rest of the small bowel with air fluid levels. This is a typical Ogilvy syndrome, pseudo obstruction. It is not real mechanical obstruction, all right. There is no true stenotic point or mechanical obstruction. It is a kind of ileus. This is the Ogilvy syndrome. And uh, this is the uh, most common cause of uh, bowels dilatation after cesarean section. I will show you the coronal views. Just have a look in the dilated bowels. Here is the transverse colon. And here is the left colonic curvature. There is a very smooth transition. I will zoom in to see again. This is the most important thing. To differentiate between pseudo obstruction and mechanical obstruction, there is very smooth transition at this point. All right, and of course, the rest of the bowels, as you can see, are significantly dilated. Let's have a last look. Okay, dear friends, thank you for watching, see you the next time.